Good morning, and welcome to Ask the Doctor. I'm your host as usual, Dr. Michael Lang of the Lang Eye Institute Fortify Vitamins, here each and every Saturday morning live to answer any and all questions regarding your vision and eye care. So take advantage of this hour. Uh, don't be shy. Pick up the phones and give me a call. If you're new to the program, who's Dr. Lang? I'm a board-certified optometric physician. I'm also a certified nutritional specialist, uh, the founder of Lang Eye Care and Associates and Lang Eye Institute. I've been hosting Ask the Doctor since April of 1993. I tell you, time flies when you're having fun. And a lot of you have been loyal listeners for many, many, many years. Uh, you remember back in the day when I had a drive time show called Ask the Doctor here on News Talk 820 uh, every day, including Sunday. I mean, that was seven days a week from nine to five. And I think Saturdays and Sundays we were at one then. Um, all right, phone lines are open, 866-977-4820. We have a few very welcome guests in the studio audience here today. Uh, and if you're watching us on News Talk Florida Facebook, uh, you can see I'm surrounded by uh, three beautiful women. So what more can you ask for? And sitting next to me um, is actually Dr. Karen Heck. Uh, she's a Ph.D., and she is with Asteril. She's a scientific affairs manager. Um, and next to her is uh, Mandy. She is my managing director for Fortify Vitamins. She's my right-hand man, so to speak. All of you that call oftentimes speak to her. Um, and uh, then to the left of uh, Mandy is Heather Richardson. She's the senior sales manager for Ask to Real. Ladies, thanks for being guests on Ask the Doctor. Thanks for having us. Thank you. All right, so before we take some calls, we're going to actually uh, talk with Dr. Heck. She is one of the leading authorities on a antioxidant or a nutrient called astaxanthin. And most of you that have been listening to this show are really no newbies to astaxanthin because we've been talking about this for many years. And um, But I'm the eye doctor, and you know I created a formula called Fortify Focus years ago that is a combination of lutein, zeaxanthin isomers, and astaxanthin. And we've been having some amazing uh, testimonials from patients that actually take this product. But first, uh, before we go to the phones, I want uh, Dr. Heck just to introduce herself. Give us a little bit about your background. Sure, happy to do so. So I am. Uh, my background is in biochemistry and molecular biology. I went to school at the University of Toronto, got my PhD at the University of Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania, and then I did my postdoc on algae at the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory in Washington State before joining Astoreal, and I'm happy to be here talking about algae to um, everybody and how it can help your health. Fantastic. And so uh, people are wondering, well, algae, you know what, I'm going to go out and you know eat some of the, eat some of the pond scum, and they're going, why do we need to know about algae? So... <laughs> More specifically, there's an algae you really study. I think it's called hem- hematoc- hematococcus, hematococcus rubialis. There Sounds you go. A bit like a Harry Potter spell. And that's what we extract astaxanthin from. So in a nutshell, can you tell our listeners a little bit of what actually is astaxanthin? Yes. Astaxanthin is actually a really important nutrient that's found in nature. It's a powerful antioxidant. It's the most powerful one found in nature. It's 6,000 times stronger than vitamin C, 800 times stronger than CoQ10, and it's a red pigment that's made by this algae. Fantastic. And so astaxanthin is not only a potent antioxidant, but it's also a potent anti-inflammatory. And this is one of the reasons I, I really hooked on to it years ago and started incorporating it into our eye formulas uh, because m- many, not most, but many of the eye diseases that, that we see on a daily basis at the Lang Eye Institute are related to inflammation and oxidation. When you think about it, aging is oxidation of the body or rusting of the body and inflammation. So if we can take certain foods or supplements to combat against aging, I mean, that's a win-win situation. Absolutely. All right, so uh, we're going to go to the first caller of the day. I bet all of our listeners know who that is. Now, remember, anybody out there that has a question for me or uh, for Dr. Heck, uh, especially regarding algae or astaxanthin, uh, take advantage of having one of the leading authorities uh, in the radio station with us. All right, let's go to the phones. Bob in Ocala, good morning. Good morning, Dr. Lang, and your support staff there this morning. Good morning, good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, I can I can say that uh, I've been taking astaxanthin uh, in the focus for a number of years, but the reason I'm calling this morning, Dr. Lang, uh, my wife has fallen uh, again, and it, it seems to have intensified the cramps that she has in her feet. I went out and bought her uh 400 milligram uh, magnesium, 
and um, she won't take it, mm-hmm. of course. But uh, do you have roll magnesium alleviate those cramps if she gives it enough time? Well, you know, magnesium, if you're deficient in magnesium, you definitely can get muscle cramps, even facial tics, uh, poor sleep, you know, chronic pain. Uh, if you're really deficient in magnesium long term, you can have a lot of other problems, including osteopenia and osteoporosis, heart irregularities, elevated blood pressure, things of that nature. Uh, but, you know, if, if she fell, um, first of all, we got to find out why, why is she falling? You know, is it due to lack of equilibrium or, uh, you know, vertigo? Does she have, you know, weak muscles? Is she developing osteopenia? And when we get older, uh, you know, people are low. Um, their bones are very brittle and they're low in calcium and they don't have the cofactors that make the calcium absorb. So they're not getting enough vitamin D3 because they're not going out in the sun. So the uh, calcium's not absorbing their brittle bones and this can cause them to fall and then actually have hip fractures and things of this nature. So it's a whole culmination of things, obviously, Bob, that... that could be involved in that. Do you want to add anything, Dr. Heck? And uh, on the muscle side, you know, as we age, we do tend to lose some muscle mass. And actually, astaxanthin has been shown to help with that problem. And it, the way astaxanthin works is it gets absorbed in the gut. It goes through the, the blood system, your circulatory system, and gets carried to all of the tissues of the body. But where astaxanthin really shines is as a mitochondrial nutrient. The mitochondria are the energy-producing parts of our cells, and muscles have a lot of mitochondria. So by going in there where actually free radicals form, damaging free radicals that can cause muscle damage if left unchecked or if they're present in excess, astaxanthin can specifically target and neutralize those free radicals and help protect your muscles. And we have muscles in the eye too, don't we, Dr. Lane? Oh, absolutely. The ciliary muscles in the eye um, are very small muscles, and that's where astaxanthin has been shown in many clinical studies to improve the focusing ability and the accommodation. And that's another reason we use this on all our patients at just about any age. So, Bob, what you really need to do, I mean, magnesium is important, but probably, and you've probably tried to do this before, but get your wife on astaxanthin, get her on the Fortify Focus pill to help with her muscle endurance and muscle recovery and help with circulation. Um, but we got to find the culprit of the problem. Why is she falling? I've, I've had her in your chair hoping to find some eye, you know, well, not, not an eye-related problem, but, you know, as you, as you bring forth your examinations, you've told us many times that, you know, the eyes are the window and that sometimes you can detect something in the eye, and uh, unfortunately, we were unsuccessful right. yeah, with absolutely. that, so we're still searching for why this is happening. Right, and you bring up a valid point, uh, Bob. The eye is the window to the body. Some people say it's the window to the soul. That's a whole different radio show, but um, uh, we can detect... <laughs> There's certain systemic health problems, all right, um, hypertension, diabetes, thyroid problems, arteriosclerosis, even certain types of collagen vascular diseases, pending strokes, and even brain tumors can show up in the eye. So if anybody gets anything from this message today, if you haven't seen your optometrist or ophthalmologist you know, in the recent years, get in for a comprehensive eye exam. So an eye exam may not only be vision-saving, ultimately it could be life-saving. All right, Bob? All right, doctor. Thank you very much. You're going to be driving next week? You know, I uh, my last race was in Birmingham at uh, Barber Speedway. I did really well. I've got uh, five first, one run out of gas, and two seconds. And so I was really pleased. I'm taking the rest of the year off, and I'll, I'll let everybody know I might be actually uh, retiring my car since it's a Voodoo 2. There's only 31 of them in the world, and I've had some pretty big offers on the car already. And getting another race car, it'll still be a Viper ACR, just not a limited edition, and I'm going to strip it down and make it even faster. So January, January middle of January, the Winterfest at Sebring, a five-day race. I'm going to be hitting that one. I'll be ready. But I'll let everybody uh, know more as we get pr- closer. Okay, excellent. Thank right. you, Doctor. Take care, Have Bob. a nice holiday. Thank you. You too. And uh, what I want to do, I want Mandy to chime in because she's bitten, biting at the bit over there. She <laughs> wants to talk really bad. So, uh, Mandy, let people know a little bit about our uh, Christmas extravaganza and what we got going on. We have another special going on. Yes, right now we have an amazing special going on with our Paleo Simplified Naked Protein. Um, right now it is 40% off. And you can just buy one or as many containers as you want. There's no minimum or maximum. Um, use the code PALEO40 
at checkout. This special is available on paleosimplified.com and fortify.com. And it's running now through the end of December. And please take advantage. You're, you're going to be getting a container of protein normally that is $40 for $24. You're saving $16, which is an amazing special. And that's the same exact protein, protein. as the Fortify it Super is. Protein, right? It sure is. It's the same protein. It's made the, Everything's the same. It's just we're running it through Paleo Simplified. That's our special for this uh, month. Fantastic. So Paleo 40, go to Fortify.com or yes. PaleoSimplified.com. Put Paleo 40 in as the promo code and get 40% off. That's right. And also, too, December 16th from 11 to 3 at the Lang Eye Institute, we are having our Christmas um, extravaganza. We're going to have a lot of vendors there, frame vendors there, contact lens representatives. Um, Paleo and Fortify will both be there. We will be offering 30% off of all Paleo and all Fortify products, so please come and take advantage of that. We will have... um, It'll be raffles going off for prizes. We are, I believe, Dr. Exposito will be doing eye exams. Is that correct, Dr. Lane? Right, Dr. Exposito. Should be doing eye exams that day as well. Uh, do they need to call and make an appointment for that? They don't have to, but it's a good idea. It's a good idea to call. go ahead and get your name on the list for that if you want to come take advantage of those eye, eye exams. We're also going to have plastic surgeons there, yes. audiologists, naturopathic physicians, um, mm-hmm. acupuncturists, Hemocode will be there talking yes. about their uh, food sensitivity testing. Um, so Michael Moore, Dr. Pod. Lotsky. We're going to have a big crowd, and usually we have a few thousand people that show up to it's, these events. It is. It's a lot a of free out. food and beverages, so uh, come on out and enjoy. I'll get there about noon, 12 to 3, and I actually might bring my race car. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sounds exciting. All right, let's get back. I want to talk, uh, before we go to the next call, uh, first of all, let me open up the phone lines. Uh, no, let's don't open the phones. We've got enough people on hold. Dr. Heck, where can we get astaxanthin in our diet? Let's say somebody just doesn't want to take a vitamin or supplement. Where can we get it naturally in our environment? So because astaxanthin is a natural nutrient, you can find it in a lot of uh, marine life occurring naturally. The best source for us is wild salmon, and they contain natural astaxanthin. But it's really hard just to get it enough from eating wild salmon. You know, the average American eats two pounds a year, which only amounts to about 11 milligrams of astaxanthin for the whole year. And we recommend four to six milligrams for eye health and muscle health a day. So you really do need to supplement with this nutrient. It's a little bit hard to get in our from diet alone. Yep. So remember, wild Alaskan salmon is one of the only places you can get it. It's got to be wild salmon. Remember, not farm-raised salmon. Uh, so wild salmon is a power food. You know, put a little bit of organic kale and spinach, some orange bell peppers, and maybe polish it off with a glass of Pinot Noir from the Oregon region, <laughs> and you're going to have a really good meal that's good for your eyes. All right. Um, let's see. Let's go to Alan and Steve. Uh, Alan, Don Allen, good morning. Thanks for holding. Hey, nice talking with you, doctors. I appreciate it. On astaxanthin, um, I see I'm allergic to vitamin C, even because of the acidic form, even the buffered form. Mm-hmm. And since astaxanthin has many more ox- oxidants, right? Anti- antioxidants. It's an antioxidant. C, can I take that in, in, instead of the vitamin C? Right. So we've got actually, it's it's quite a different antioxidant. First of all, we have over 40 safety studies showing no adverse events. Uh, so astaxanthin is really safe. It shouldn't be a problem. And unless you have something like a shellfish allergy, you may want to ask your primary care physician about it. But otherwise, it shouldn't be an issue. The other thing is astaxanthin is a fat-soluble antioxidant, whereas vitamin C is a water-soluble antioxidant. The difference is you can actually store astaxanthin in your body for a couple of days compared to um, vitamin C, which is eliminated really quickly. So they do function quite differently. The advantage of having a fat-soluble antioxidant is that it can actually get into your cells and get into those mitochondrial membranes where the free radicals are formed. So I don't believe that you should have a, a problem um, it's not an acid. That's the other thing. It's, it's not like vitamin C. It's, uh, it's actually a, a fat soluble hydrophobic, uh, molecule that fits perfectly in your membrane. It's a really interesting structure. So is that you said four to six milligrams a day of antizanthum would be, uh, Yes, so for eye health. How much is that when it comes to like a spoonful or a tablespoon? Oh, interesting. Okay, do you mean in terms of how much acid? 
why? Dosage. In other words, if I wanted to get that much, do I take a teaspoon, tablespoon a day, or two, or three, or so can I get actually, it in that form? It comes in a in a soft gel, so Fortify Focus actually contains six milligrams astaxanthin per soft gel. Um, if you're wondering about a, a powdered form, the, there are powdered forms available. Um, but uh, if you're talking about a salmon, you would need almost three fillets a day of wild raw uh, salmon, sockeye salmon, <laughs> yeah, to get the equivalent amount, six milligrams of astaxanthin. I'm, I make smoothies, and I would like a powder to put the, the put it in my smoothies if it's. Right, that's a good idea. We do a lot of a lot of our patients make smoothies. I make it for my daughter, and I use A2 cow's milk. I use our Fortify Super Protein, and then I squeeze one of the Fortify Focus into her smoothie when she, we make it. Oh. All right, so just squeeze it into, bite the tip of it off, squeeze it into the smoothie, and now you're going to get the benefits of the astaxanthin plus the lutein and the zeaxanthin isomers. So that's going to incorporate into your macula, lower inflammation and oxidation in your entire body, uh, reduce uh, actually improve macular pigment density due to the lutein and the zeaxanthin and get all the host of health benefits from the astaxanthin. So we put it all into one formula uh, instead of just one astaxanthin, uh, you know, because the lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin, being an eye doctor, those work so well together. They complement each other. They help reduce eye strain from the computer. All of us are on the computer. It helps minimize damage to the skin and the retina from the sun and the blue light. It helps reaction time, improves night vision. So there's a whole host of benefits. And, you know, I've been talking about Fortify Focus since I invented it. It's just finally uh, we've got Dr. Heck, who's really the leading, one of the leading authorities in the country, if not the world, on this, uh, sitting next to me so we can pick her, pick her brain. <laughs> what a privilege. But is, there, is there a maximum dosage on the Xanthan for, for a, a day? There, you can't, shouldn't have any more than a certain amount. Right. The maximum recommended dosage is 12 milligrams a day in the U.S., and that's regulated by the FDA. Um, but we've done, like I said, more than 40 safety studies, and we've found no uh, adverse events up to 45 milligrams a day. Although, of course, we don't recommend you take that much. It's not necessary. You won't even be able to absorb that much. And, and that's part of the reason that the xanthan is so sa- safe is because whatever you can't absorb just gets eliminated. And so there's no um, known harmful effects based so on it, what it doesn't have a, a, a bad effect on your cholesterol. It would not raise your cholesterol level. Actually, it's interesting you mentioned that. We have uh, some studies at 12 milligrams a day that shows it actually can improve your blood lipid profile, increasing that good cholesterol, the HDL, that helps to clear the bad cholesterol from your bloodstream, and also decreasing uh, triglyceride levels. Well, very good. Thank you, Doctor. I appreciate your information, and you guys are wonderful. Keep up the good work. All right. Thanks, Al. Have a great day. And we're going to get uh, one of our other favorite callers coming online here. Let's see. Steve. Steve, good morning. Thanks for holding, brother. Good morning. How are you doing, sir? Fantastic. And yourself? Ah, if I felt any better, I'd have to be twins. Ah, that's good to hear. Good to hear. Um, I had an exam uh, the other day, the uh, retina specialist, and he tells me everything looks good and I'm really improving, but I'm, my vision's not improving. When they do those exams, is it just for the anatomy of everything's in the right place or you can't really see inside the eyeball and see what's going on. They've done the test where they give you the shot in your arm. It's a luminescent test or mm-hmm. something. They did that one, and then they did the scan, and my micron reading was 509. Right. But my vision doesn't seem to be improving, even though he says my eyes looking better. Does that make any sense to you? Absolutely. I mean, that's a typical patient that I see at the Lang Eye Institute. You know, diabetic like yourself, and we do fluorescein angiograms. That is where we put the dye in your vein, and we look for leaky microaneurysms. We look for, especially in the macular region, to see if the blood vessels are leaking. And then we do that combined with the OCT, cross-sectional image of your retina, and that gives our doctors and our surgeons the ability to determine whether or not you need another injection, whether or not you need an injection of something like Avastin, Lucentis, Ilea, 
or if you need a steroid injection, or whether or not you need laser. Um, and so, you know, these things, as you're quite familiar, because you've been doing this quite a while now, uh, yeah. probably need to be done. You know, the, uh, the fluorescein angiogram probably doesn't need to be done that frequently, but the OCT needs to be done every time you see the doctor. And remember, um, you already have one bad eye and, and one eye that's not, you know, 2020 far from it. And so your expectations have to be realistic. You have to continue doing what you're doing, Steve. I mean, you're uh, following the proper diet. You're on the right supplements. You've lost the weight. I mean, you're doing everything in your power. You have a general ophthalmologist. You have a retina specialist. Both of them have great reputations. You know, uh, I tell you, a little, a little prayer, positive thinking, you know, all of this goes a long way. And continue doing what you're doing. And another thing was, uh, yeah, I'm trying hard. I'm down to 209 pounds, which is really good for me. Um, on the on the focus, should I take one or two a day and be in 209 pounds at 6 feet 3? I would probably go to two a day on that personally because it's extremely safe, like Dr. Heck had mentioned. Uh, the antioxidant, oxidative properties, um, the anti-inflammatory properties, remember it crosses the blood retinal barrier. I have seen clinically patients, when we put them on the Fortify Focus, I have seen some dramatic improvement in macular health. I've seen edema, swelling go down. When we followed them for some for many years and until we initiated treatment with Fortify Focus, uh, we didn't see any changes. So I, you know, I have thousands of patients taking this, and we have many testimonials. So it certainly won't hurt you. Is it going to benefit you the way we want? Uh, you know, only time will tell. But absolutely, I think you could go to two a day. And make sure you take that with food or with some whole milk, like A2 cow's milk, something that has some fat and protein in it. Okay, and then one more thing is uh, he said I have a dry cornea, and that's why I'm not seeing real well. And I and I use the preservative free tears all the time, but it seems to dry out. So he recommended Zedra. Have you are you familiar with that? Right, I prescribe quite a bit of Zedra. That's a drop you use twice a day. It's a new generation uh, yes. dry eye drop. That if your insurance doesn't cover it, it can be quite expensive. But you go get your free month supply first. Takes ten days yep. before it kicks in, and I got a lot of patients. It's wonderful, so it's free to try for the first month. Make sure you get your free month supply, and then determine what it costs. If it's eight hundred dollars, after that, you know, don't don't spend your money on it. It seems like uh, I got some. I got the free supply the other day, and I used it for the first time, and it it blurred me up really bad for like four hours before mm-hmm. it cleared out. Is that have you ever heard of that before? Yeah, a lot of people it blurs their vision for the first few hours and tastes pretty nasty too. So try it for ten days, all right? Just tough it out for okay. ten days. All right? Okay, and I'll get used to it, huh? I'm hoping. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Very impressive show today, by the way. Thanks, Steve, and keep me posted. Okay. Take care, brother. Bye bye. All right. Uh, you're listening to Ask the Doctors this morning. My very welcome guest, uh, Dr. Karen Heck, Ph.D., Scientific Affairs Manager for Astoreal. And sitting next to her, Heather Richardson, Senior Sales Manager, also for Astoreal. Anyway, let me tell you good morning. Hey, good morning, all. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right. And so uh, let's go back to the phones. Um, Lorenzo in Ocala. Good morning, Lorenzo. Good morning, Dr. Lang, and your guest as well. Um, I'm a, a two-year user of uh, Focus, uh, generally one time per day. Uh, there are some things I've noticed. First of all, my dry eye is much, much better. My dominant eye, I believe, is my left eye, and that was the one I had the most trouble with. Uh, that's probably 95% improved. But I've also noticed some other things, uh, hair growth, nail growth. Uh, my joints feel better. I do have arthritis. Um, and I wondered, uh, are those some of the uh, virtues uh, also of the uh, ingredients of focus? Well, you know, I, I think absolutely the whole thing about your arthritis. I actually have many rheumatologists, my dad being one, uh, that likes astaxanthin. Uh, because remember, it's a potent anti-inflammatory. So that can help with inflammation. And, you know, I imagine it helps with inflammation in the entire body. So therefore, the joints. However, I'm going to let um, Dr. Heck chime in. Well, actually, we do see some skin benefits, specifically with astaxanthin, also at about 6 milligrams a day, which is what you've been taking. Um, Astaxanthin actually can help protect the skin from environmental factors that normally cause inflammation that triggers, um, you know, matrix metalloproteases that degrade collagen. So you're actually helping the skin condition 
uh, helping to retain moisture in the skin, and that may be contributing to uh, your scalp health as well. It's possible. Um, so we do have uh, several studies for skin health, not hair specifically, but yeah, it may be contributing in that way as well. That's good to know. And I love positive testimonials. So keep taking it. And uh, I think at one a day, you're probably doing quite well. Yeah, doing great. I have one other quick one. I have heard of a test that's available and I'm not sure if you're aware of it where, um, it, it's a, just a, Trick of the uh, of the finger in order to determine uh, what foods uh, you may be allergic to, uh, what you're ingesting. Do you have any idea what that might be? And is that available at your uh, at your clinic? You know, I have been talking about that. You probably heard it on this show uh, or somewhere, but I've been talking about that uh, for the last three weeks or so. That was a tape I ran because I was out racing. But there is a there is one called Hemacode. So people go to Hemacode.com, and that looks for IgG-mediated antibodies to foods that you're ingesting, and it helps us to kind of customize our diet. Many people people you know have all sorts of health issues related to the foods they're consuming and they might be on an organic gluten-free paleo diet but yet they're still having some issues so this is a simple test it's an at-home test they take the doctor out of the play in this so you go to hemocode.com they are uh kind of a semi-sponsor of my radio show so they have given all my listeners a code. It's simply Lang, L-A-N-G-E, and you get a hundred dollars off. So it's three, it's four ninety nine. It brings it down to three ninety nine. They will be at the Lang Eye Institute Christmas Extravaganza. You know, I found out when I took it that pork, uh, sweet potatoes. Eggplants were terrible for me to eat, and I used to like eggplant parmesan, and I love pork sandwiches and bacon, uh, you know, because um, I don't eat a lot of carbs, so I'd have my egg omelet, maybe a little bacon. I never ate a lot of sweet potatoes, though. But I'm, I've always been really type A personality going a 1,000 miles an hour, but I feel better since I've taken the pork and the eggplant out. I really do, especially my digestive system, no bloating and things of this nature. So it's something to try. The cost has come down significantly because many uh, doctors will charge 1000 to 1500 to do this test and then analyze it and go over with you. They actually email everything to you. It's self-explanatory. The doctor, clinical nutritionist, will even call you and talk to you about it. So, uh, yeah, check it out. It's hemocode.com. Use the code LANG uh, for a $100 discount. Well, wonderful. Doctors, thank you all for your time this morning. And we'll see you at the extravaganza. I will drive down from Ocala to be there. Thank all right, you so Lorenzo. much. Bye-bye. Lorenzo's also been a caller and a listener, I think, for, geez, years and years and years. All right, phone lines are open, one eight six six nine seven seven four eight twenty. We're getting ready to take a couple of more calls. Uh, right before we take the next call, I want to talk to Dr. Heck about the brand is very important. And, of course, we're promoting Asteril. This is the company uh, that the doctor works for. It is the brand that I use. But I was just at a uh, conference, the American College of Nutrition, Nutrition Annual Conference, and they were lecturing about astaxanthin. And basically the take-home was be very careful with the type of astaxanthin you're getting. My recommendation is make sure it says Asteril on it because this is the most studied brand out there, and it was one of two that didn't have any pollutants in it. So can we expand on that before we take the next caller? Right. So it's interesting. You know, we, we get astaxanthin from this algae that we grow. So algae is like a crop. Think of it that way. Where you grow it and how you grow it really makes a difference on the quality of the final product. So we actually grow our, grow ours in an indoor closed photobioreactor system, which means that we actually are able to filter the air that the algae breathe as well as the water in which the algae grow. And this removes any kind of persistent air pollutants that may exist if you're growing your algae outdoors, which, you know, is one of the other common ways of growing the algae. And these air pollutants can actually be quite harmful to health if they reach certain high levels. Um, some of them are polyaromatic hydrocarbons, n are known carcinogens. So we do want to limit our exposure to those. So once again, look for Asteril, Astaxanthin, or, you know, just... Heck, look at Fortify Focus. You can buy that at fortify.com. Um, you can buy it, I think, uh, on the Internet, lots of different places. Many eye doctors are carrying it. Um, but fortify.com is probably the best place to get it. Um, come to the Lang Eye Institute Christmas Extravaganza, and you'll get 30% off on that. All right, we're going back to the phones. We're getting loaded up again, so please be patient, all of our callers. Steve in Clearwater, good morning. 
Hi, how are you today? Fantastic. Um, I know adsazantin that you say is a very, very good antioxidant. And sometime in another show, I don't know, I don't think, you, I know you'd have to prepare for this. Um, I'd, I'd like you to come back on the doctor and tell us exactly why astaxanthin is so powerful. What is it about that molecule that's so much more powerful than other carotenoids? Uh, but for today, since astaxanthin is orange or red, that means it must be, it must reflect orange and red light and absorb blue light. Or that's why we see it as orange and red. Um, is it possible that that's one of the mechanisms by which it protects the eye is ab- absorbing the blue light? So let me actually go into that with a little more detail because that comes into play when we're talking about computer vision syndrome. So we spend a lot of time, maybe like nine and a half hours on average a day staring at digital screens. And some people, did you know, even reach for their iPhones before they reach for a cup of coffee or even their partners in the morning? It's amazing. Uh It's like 10% more. So what that means is that things that we have to be aware of include posture, focus, light, like you said, and blinking. So our, some people complain of uh, stiff neck and shoulders, lower back. That's to do with posture. Focus is where astaxanthin plays a role. And then lutein and zeaxanthin is where uh, we get uh, our problems with light are addressed. So let me explain a little bit more. So lutein and zea are um, more orange-colored. They're isolated from marigolds, or but you could also find them in foods like spinach. And those do filter out blue light, and they work in the back of the eye to protect the macula from blue light coming from our digital screens. Astaxanthin actually is found in the ciliary body at the front of the eye, which is the muscle, the smooth muscle, that controls our lens shape and assists with focus. So when we're focusing on something that's near our eyes, Our ciliary muscles go to work, they contract, they round out the shape of the lens and allow us to focus nearby. But of course, if you keep those muscles contracted for nine hours a day, which is the average amount of time people are exposed to digital screens, they get tired. They start to produce free radicals. And this causes eye strain and eye fatigue contributes to it. So astaxanthin works at the front of the eye to neutralize those free radicals and help reduce eye strain and eye fatigue. And we have over 16 clinical studies in humans that demonstrate this. And we've done this, we've seen results in over 200 different participants in those clinical studies. And then uh, lutein and zea work at the back of the eye to filter out the blue light. So that's why those three uh, in Fortify Focus are such a great combination because it's a complete carotenoid formula that protects both the back of the eye, and the front of the eye. And then also, uh, Steve and Dr. Heck, something we talked about at dinner last night, uh, astaxanthin also improves circulation to the chorio capillaries. And uh-huh. so this is underneath the retina. And so what we think is since we're improving, improving circulation, this might have a flushing ability to help take waste products, which are drusenoid bodies, under the retina. Because I do see patients with macular degeneration with OCTs and visual acuity testing that are actually improving when they take Fortify Focus. Now, is it the lutein? Is it zeaxanthin? Is it astaxanthin? Is it the combination of all three of these? Now, I do adjust their diet. I recommend exercise, you know, blue filtering lenses. It's probably a combination of everything that is allowing us to get this great success. Well, another thing, too, is I think in nature, the blue light, what, like when the sun is rising and setting, it's orange. You know, the sky is orange because most of the blue light, like sunsets or sunrises, because most of the blue light is filtered out. When you, in nature, the blue light is, is, is increased very slowly. You know, at, at, at 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock, it's a little more, and at 11 o'clock, it's a little more. Whereas when you go into a computer screen and you turn the computer on, you get a sudden bang of it. So, it, could it be that our, 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 our modern blue light is dangerous even more than natural blue light because we get it in a sudden burst, whereas it doesn't have t- the eye doesn't have time to, to you know, adjust to the slow increase like it is? You know what I'm saying? Well, it's prolonged use of this computer. I mean, we're seeing kids now developing these macular changes that we don't see until you get 70 or 80 years of age because think about it. Your children um, are on the iPad. They're on their iPhone. They're on the computer, you know, constantly. That's why I developed the blue light defense lenses so they can put those on to help block the blue light. The most damaging blue light to the retina due to the Funk study is 411 nanometers. Now, that is abundant in the sun, but it does come 
uh, from digital apparatuses as well. Uh, so obviously, when you're out in the sun, it's a good idea to wear sunglasses. You know, blue filtering sunglasses at least have a brown amber color in your sunglass lens. And then when you're indoors, taking a supplement like the one I developed, Fortify Focus, which is the only one in the eye industry right now. Um, or um, eating the foods, the wild Alaskan salmon, the organic spinach and kale and orange bell peppers and goji berries. You know, eating these foods are going to give you these carotenoids as well. But let's face it, most of us are not going to eat those. So it's simple to take one little small gel cap a day to ensure you're getting those nutrients. You know, back when Daniel Boone was around, I bet you if I would have had a biomicroscope, I could look at his retina, and we probably didn't see anywhere near as much macula degeneration back then because we were eating foods that weren't adulterated and polluted, but also we weren't getting the blue light from the computers and the iPads as well. Our technology is going faster than our evolution, I mm-hmm. guess. Okay, well, thank you very much, and I uh, uh, hope your guests come back in, uh, for another show soon. All right, take care. Okay. Bye-bye. All right, let's go back to the phones. Nita's been waiting patiently. Nita, good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning. I had several questions, but most of them have been answered. But I do want to know, I've been seeing commercials about krill oil. Mm-hmm. Having astaxanthin, is there enough in there to help me? Should I be taking krill oil? I'll chime in first, and then Dr. Heck will. Uh, I would uh, recommend not. Number one, people are taking krill oil because they're getting it for the omega-3. And if you look at the back of your bottle of krill oil, if you ever buy one, there is no omega-3. I mean, there's less than 80 milligrams of omega-3 in it. The omega index studies that I've done at the Lang Eye Institute, uh, when we tested everybody that was on krill, their omega index was between 1 and 2. You have to be over 8 to get heart health benefits. That's why I developed Fortify Super Omega, two per day. Everybody in the study, their omega index went between 9 and 11%, giving you the heart health benefits. Krill has astaxanthin in it, has phospholipids in it. Uh, these things are all good, but it has micrograms of astaxanthin. To, so in my opinion, to get the benefits that you see, say, in Fortify Focus with 6 milligrams, you're not going to get in krill at all. But I'll let Dr. Heck um, chime in as well. Right. So in terms of uh, the astaxanthin content, I did the math once, and I think it was something like 0.002% of the astaxanthin content you're supposed to get daily based on a 6-milligram dose. So it really is trace levels of astaxanthin in there. I think it would be really a good idea if um, maybe there was a krill oil out there that was fortified with astaxanthin. That could be a nice... Uh, addition, and that way you be sure you're getting the amount of astaxanthin you want. But, you know, the reason uh, there is some astaxanthin there is because krill is uh, actually consuming some of these algae in nature that produce astaxanthin, but there's just not enough for us to really get that beneficial dose. How does that answer your question, Miss Nita? Yes, it does. And tell me, where are you located in Ocala? And I can go there to get your fortified fish oil. Right. You can... Um you can go to 17th Street. Um, if you're going down 200, you make a right. If you're going toward town, make a right on 17th Street, right there where all the uh, car dealerships are. And you go down a couple of blocks, and on the right, you'll see like a few little warehouses. you see Wood U and a big American flag. You'll see us fortify vitamins right there on 17th Street, about two blocks down from uh, State Road 200. And you can go in there Monday through Friday, um, and tell them you heard us on the radio, and you'll get, uh, you know, tell them, ask for 20% off and see what they do. All righty. Thank you very much, doctor. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. And remember, the Lang Eye Institute in the Villages has all of these products as well, or go to fortify.com. I'll give everybody the toll-free number for Fortify Vitamins. Get a pen and paper. I'll give it to you twice. 866 503 Nine seven four six fortify vitamins eight six six five zero three nine seven four six or fortify dot com. That's F O R T I F E Y E, kind of a play on words. All right, phone lines are open eight six six nine seven seven four eight twenty. If you got a question, eight six six nine seven seven four eight twenty. I got the crew from Astoreal here, so especially if you have a question regarding astaxanthin, let's go back to the phones. Ray in Bradenton, good morning. Hey, good morning, Doc. Thanks for taking my call. My pleasure. I appreciate it. Uh, listen, I've been plagued recently with uh, Chalazone, and now the one on my left eye is quite big. I have been treating it with warm cloth, uh, the scrubs, and I have to admit it's beginning to drain. Uh, my question is, uh, what is the cause and what treatment do you recommend? Uh, and do you recommend uh, 
when it gets to the point where you can't stand it, um, antibiotics. Okay, so this is called a chalazion or a hordeolum. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you this. Ray, is it painful or tender to the touch? No. Okay. Yeah, so that's the difference. If it's t painful and tender to the touch, that's called a hordeolum, basically a sty. If it's not painful, that's a chalazion. And this is a blocked meibomian gland. So the lipid layer that's in your meibomian glands is not coming out. It's kind of like a pimple that gets impacted in there and gets, you know, very large. Hot compresses three to four times a day for ten minutes. And then massage the lids while you have the heat on it, all right? Um, I would also be on a good omega-3 fish oil that's triglyceride form, like our Fortify Super Omega, two times a day. Studies have shown if you're taking this, then you're less likely to develop a styre or chalazion. And then lid hygiene is important. So after you do the hot compresses, take some baby shampoo or buy Ocusoft foam. You can buy that over the counter or you can get it on the Fortify website. Um, and scrub your eyelashes twice a day with that. That gets rid of the pathogens, the bacteria, the viruses, and even potential mites called Demodex that hang out on your eyelashes that crawl into those glands and clog them. So we clean them and we heat them and we nutrify them, similar to what we do for dry eyes. Then, if it continuously gets larger or doesn't go away, you got to go into your doctor and they might have to drain it. An antibiotic in my history doesn't do much of anything for a chalazion. It's a waste of time. If it was a true hordeolum and it was infected, tender, that's why I asked you if it was painful, inflamed, hot to the touch, then an oral antibiotic can help. Topical antibiotics don't do much. However, you could ask your doctor to give you a steroid ointment um, or a steroid drop or a combination of an antibiotic steroid, something like Tobradex. Sometimes that does help. The anti-inflammatory properties do. It's not going to hurt you. So, you know, the main thing is get to your eye doctor. It's not getting any better, and they'll see whether or not they need to prescribe something or drain it or lance it or, you know, surgical indications are in about probably 5% of these patients. Okay. Can I just, uh, one more quick question. Mm -hmm. I have severe dry eye. When you say you have a blocked teardrop, uh, tear duct, mm -hmm. does that mean that the tears are not retained in your eye and therefore my tears constantly come down my cheek? They constantly come out of the eye. They don't stay in the eye. Right. That's called epiphora or epiphoria. And that is when your lacrimal gland, not the lacrimal gland, the lacrimal duct, the drainage duct in the inferior nasal quadrant of your eye is actually clogged. And the same thing can help with that. The hot compresses can actually uh, cause anything that's blocking it to go through. And sometimes if you continuously have that problem, we have to actually probe that gland, do something called dilation and irrigation, where we actually will run saline through to try to open it up. And sometimes you have to have surgical intervention as well. But i got to tell you, Ray, sometimes a teary eye, an eye that tears, is just a dry eye, and your body's compensating for the dryness by crying more of the watery layer. So it's up to your doctor, your optometrist or ophthalmologist to determine if the tearing is related to dry eye or if it's related to a blocked tear duct, and it's easy for them to determine that in the office. Very good, Doc. I wish you were down in Bradenton. I'd sign up right away. <laughs> All right, Ray, you take care. Thanks a lot now. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Let's expand a little bit more on computer vision syndrome. Uh, that's one of the reasons we call this Fortify Focus Blue Light Defense because it's kind of a triple carotenoid therapy. The lutein and the zeaxanthin help combat against the blue light coming from the computer screen, and the astaxanthin, as you were talking about earlier, goes into the ciliary muscle, helping to reduce eye strain and eye fatigue. i got to brag a little bit, and people have heard me talk about this before. I'm 55, no, I'm 56 years old. I don't need reading glasses. I'm reading all of this in front of me. I've been on this for five or six years now. Uh, when I was 50, I needed reading glasses. I needed some help, so I know it works. The astaxanthin does help ciliary muscle. So it really is a perfect combination, don't you think, to have lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin in one supplement for computer users. I absolutely agree. Um, and, you know, the, the things that we've seen in our clinical studies with astereal astaxanthin have shown that we can not only improve the near point of accommodation, like you mentioned, which is how close can you hold, you know, your book and actually still be able to focus on it, but also the reaction time. So we actually have a, an interesting study in a handball team where they were testing their depth perception too. So that looks at how quickly can you change focus and how accurately can you tell 
depth perception. And the handball team that was supplementing with astaxanthin were actually to, able to improve their accuracy in the depth perception test. And so that's relating both to um, how quickly they're able to react and how accurate their focus is. And we do have studies that show increase or improvement um, in both the amplitude, the range of focus, as well as the near point of focus. So that's really um, going to help with focusing on digital screens um, for longer, making your muscles more resilient. And I, you know, I've got my 11 year old daughter taking this and she's been taking it for two years. So nine, since she's been nine, do we even know, are there any studies for children right now? There is not a lot out there in terms of children taking astaxanthin. We do have uh, over 60 clinical studies in adults. Mm -hmm. There is currently one uh, study in children, which was uh, for, it was a combination. So it wasn't astaxanthin alone. It was astaxanthin together with a lot of other ingredients at 1.5 milligrams a day. So I wouldn't say that one study is really enough to <laughs> bank everything on, but, um, you know, we do need to look into it more. But for adults, definitely a safe product. Good. All right. Let's go back to the phones. We're going to see who's on hold now. Chemo in St. Pete. Good morning. Thanks for taking my call, doctor. My pleasure. I've got uh, I've got a, a problem with glaucoma. I'm diabetic. Uh, the doctor gave me steroids about three years ago, and it really uh, knocked my eyes out, uh, my uh, peripheral vision and um, my optic nerve. They're giving me eye drops. I'm trying to figure out how to get the optic nerve back to get some uh, blood flow and maybe, uh, you know, uh, recoup or, or stop some of this. Let me ask you this. Why were you on the steroid? Yeah, I, I was getting injections for diabetes and that, and he just put me on steroids, I guess, so I wouldn't have to take the shot. And mm -hmm. uh, I had a reaction to it, and I, I did a whiteout for mm -hmm. about half a day where my eyes just went white, and they came back, and I think I... He scrubbed the optic nerve pretty good. I, my glaucoma wasn't that bad after that. You know, it's glare. Uh, I, you know, it's, it just messed my whole uh, optic up. So that's only in one eye, however, correct? No, it's in both eyes. One's a little better than the other, but I got, I've got glaucoma both, and it really accelerated. It must have accelerated 10 years. You know? Are you taking glaucoma drops now? Yeah, I'm taking pressure drops. They're hitting the front of it. The pressure's down mm -hmm. to 10. But but my optic nerve is I'm losing color I'm losing uh, everything my optic nerve I'm trying to get that regenerated you know. Kimo, how much do you weigh? Uh, I'm five eleven and I weigh uh, one ninety five. Good. Do you do much cardiovascular exercise? Not too much. I got uh, myasthenia gravis, so I can't move around and do a mm -hmm. bunch of stuff. But you know I've got a bike I can ride. Uh, you know some blockages, coronary problems. I'm trying to get some stuff to clean my uh, small vessels out from my eyes, but I'm just. I figured I'd call you up and see if you had anything for me. Well, know? I mean, I, you know, certainly under your doctor's supervision, you know, talk with your cardiologist, but cardiovascular exercise will improve circulation in every part of your body. Doesn't sound like you're overweight. So, you know, proper diet, cardiovascular exercise. I mean, certainly uh, taking something like the Fortify Focus or taking six milligrams of astaxanthin a day. I mean, studies do indicate it improves circulation to the eye. All right. So that certainly okay. isn't going to hurt you. It's not a miracle cure for glaucoma by any means, but we want to preserve what vision that you have all right so basically i would get down to your ideal you know body weight uh get in the best shape of your life eating plenty of organically grown fruits and vegetables get on a diet similar to a paleo gluten-free diet um i would take a supplement like fortify focus i would be on omega-3 fish oil talk to your doctor and see whether or not a baby aspirin a half a baby aspirin would be beneficial for you because there's some studies that indicate when you take a baby aspirin combined with omega-3 fish oil especially at bedtime the baby aspirin potentiates something called resolvins and protectins that are actually in the omega-3 helping to reduce the chance of a fatal heart attack or stroke in the morning so that's good none of us want to die at breakfast time right but continually follow, monitor your, with your doctor, your ophthalmologist for the glaucoma, because th this doctor is going to determine whether or not you have adequate control through your drops, whether or not you need oral meds or you need surgical intervention. I mean, uh, certainly using adjunct therapy, natural approaches we talked about with your medical approach, don't ever stop your medical approach for glaucoma. This is one time I tell patients, never uh, treat glaucoma naturally. You know, you've got to treat it medically because it works. I got you. They're, they're, they're just doing the front of the eye. They, they're not doing anything for the optic nerve. So that's what's shutting me down. Uh, the pressure's good, but 
if they're just doing the front end with uh, low pressure, I'm still losing, you know. Right. Well, we got to lower the pressure in the front to help you control the, the pressure in the back that goes through into the optic nerve. So there's a reason uh, that they're doing that. Now, the vision that you've lost, optic nerve damage, at this point in time, you're probably not going to regain that. However, you still sound relatively young. So who knows with the advent of stem cell infusions and things like that, what we got coming down the pike. Chemo, I guarantee you, in the next five, six, seven years, we'll be talking about taking people out of the darkness uh, with things like bionic eyes and stem cell implantation. So there's some exciting yeah. times ahead. Yeah, I, I understand that. I believe that. I know that. Uh, I just, uh, I'm just trying to save what I got as long as I can. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm on a, I'm on a, uh, I just got off a 30 day water fast. I'm on, my, my diet is completely, uh, gluten free and I'm just doing vegetables and, uh, Different things like that. I, I, I'm on a clean. What do you think I should weigh at five eleven? Well, it depends. I mean, that that weight sounds pretty good. I mean, I'd say you know one ninety around there. It just depends on your bone structure and things like that. But you know, uh, remember back I in the day, I was a big guy. I, you know, I'm not small. I used to power lift. I'm just I'm down pretty good. Good. Just remember, remember back in the day, most young people listen don't remember this. Like, can you pinch an inch? Remember that? So. Oh yeah. Oh, I understand. I understand. <laughs> All right. I appreciate the help, Doc. Thanks for your help. All right. Take care, Kimo. Bye bye. Let's see. Anything you want to uh, add to the conversation on astaxanthin right now? I thought it was interesting what uh, Kimo was just talking about in terms of pressure at the front of the eye with glaucoma. We do have a few studies. Um, Looking at the aqueous humor, which mm-hmm. is that, that liquid that sort of regulates uh, the pressure at the front of the eye, it's supposed to drain really efficiently and keep that, um, that area between the lens and the cornea nice right. and hydrated, right? So uh, we, we have some studies on um, uh, older patients in their 70s who were undergoing cataract surgery, and they were looking at um, how many basically hydroperoxides were in the aqueous humor and also... Uh, what was the antioxidant, total antioxidant capacity in the aqueous humor? And there were some indications that we could actually decrease hydroperoxide. And I'm sorry we couldn't get to other people. That's the music. I want to thank Dr. Heck and the gang at Astoreal for being a guest on Ask the Doctor. It's been fabulous. you got to come back and we'll do it again. Thank you so much. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in and listening. Uh, stay out of trouble. God bless you. And I'm out of here. <laughs>